So first, some necessary information when we are going to graph a linear inequality in two variables. Remember that the graph will represent all of the solutions of the inequality and is a region in the plane. The equation, the related equation of the line becomes the boundary of the inequality. And we will mark the boundary with a dotted line if we have a strict less than or greater than inequality. And we will use a solid line if we have an inclusive, a less than or equal to, or a greater than or equal to inequality. I like to use a test point to determine which side of the line contains the solutions of the inequality. And then you basically just need to shade the region that contains the solutions. So let's see some examples. So here we are asked to graph the region of the plane that satisfies y is less than 1 half x minus 5. Well, I'm really going to graph y equals 1 half x minus 5. I'm going to use a dotted line because it's a strict less than inequality. So 1 half x minus 5 is in slope intercept form. So I will plot the y-intercept at negative 5. And then the slope is 1 half, so rise 1, run 2. I'm just going to plot a bunch of points just to help me draw the line. So down 1 left, 2, as needed. Then, using a dotted line to mark the boundary, I'm halfway there. I've drawn the boundary. Now, I like to choose a test point to determine where to shade. A test point is any point that's not on the boundary the line that we've just drawn. Well, arithmetic with zero is really easy, so I'm going to use the, or, the origin, zero, zero. So I'm going to test zero, zero in the original inequality. So, zero is less than one half of zero minus five. All right, following the arithmetic on the right, that would be 0 minus 5, which is negative 5. So we ask ourselves, true or false, is 0 less than 5? Well, that's false. What that tells me is my or the test point is not a solution. What that also tells me is, if I've drawn my boundary correctly, none of the points on that side of the boundary are solutions, so my solutions must lie on the other side of the line and that's where I would shade. So I've shaded the region that contains the solutions of the inequality. The idea being if I were to choose any point, if I were to choose any point on the shaded region, it should satisfy the inequality. All right, let's try another one. 2x minus 4y is less than or equal to 12. All right, so again, I'm going to think of this as an equation first. So 2x minus 4y equals 12. And I would use a solid line since it's a, an or equal to inequality. This equation is in what's called the standard form. And I think it's easier to plot, to graph this by finding intercepts. So if I let x equal 0, then y would have to equal negative 3 to satisfy the equation. So I've got 0, negative 3. And if I let y equal 0, then x would have to equal 6. And so then I've got 6, 0. Plotting these points and drawing the line through them. using a solid line again. And again, I'm going to test the point 0, 0, 0, 0. As long as it doesn't pass through that, I can use 0, 0. So I've got 2 times 0 minus 4 times 0. Is that less than or equal to 12? 0 minus 0 is less than 12. True. 
0 is less than 12. So what that tells me is 0, 0 is a solution, and I would shade that region containing 0, 0. All right, another one similar. 3x plus 5y is greater than 30. Again, I'm going to think 3x plus 5y equals 30. And let me graph the intercepts. If x equals 0, then y would have to equal 6. And if y equals 0, x would have to equal 10. So 0, 6, and 10, 0. drawing the dotted line through those points. Dotted because it's, an, it's a strict inequality. And again, I can test the origin. Is 3 times 0 plus 5 times 0 greater than 30? Well, the left-hand side evaluates as 0. Is 0 greater than 30? False. This point is not a solution. The solutions lie on the other side, and that's where we would shade. y is greater than or equal to negative 3 fifths x plus 4. Again, I'm going to think y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 4, and I'll use a solid line since it's an or equal to an equality, plotting 0, 4, and using the slope of negative 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or up 3, and left. All right, there's several points, and the solid line through the points. Again, now I can test the point. Any point that's not on the line, well, again, I'm going to use 0, 0. So is 0 greater than or equal to negative 3 fifths of 0 plus 4? Is 0 greater than 0 plus 4? Is 0 greater than 4? False. Not a solution. Shade the other side. All right, here we are asked to graph y is less than 5. Well, if we first think where is y equal to 5, recall that y equals 5 is a horizontal line. And we'll use a dotted line. So graphing y equals 5, but using a dotted line, There's y equals 5, dotted. And where are the y values less than 5? Above the line or below the line? Well, y is less than 5 below the line. Finally, x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Where is, so if we first think, well, where is x equal to 2? I'm sorry, negative 2. Recall that that's a vertical line. And we'll use a solid line since it's an or equal to. So here's x equals negative 2, very poorly drawn. Where are the x values greater than negative 2, left of or right of the boundary? The x values are greater than negative 2 to the right of the boundary. 